Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Whistle Pig. This is Smokestock Whiskey, coming in at a 43% ABV, no age statement. Now this is really interesting and it's a limited release uh, that Whistle Pig is doing right now. They paired up with Traeger, the smoker company, uh, and they take their barrels, smoke them in Traeger pellets and their machines, put their whiskey in there, which we don't know what whiskey they're putting in here, but the back does say it is a product of Canada. So it's probably uh, a majority of rye, good, good chance of that, but we don't know. And then they also smoked water that they used to proof down the barrels from barrel proof. So we're trying to get this double smoke concept into a whiskey, and I'm really curious what actually comes across. I've seen things like this work really well, and I've seen things like this kind of go a little flat. Um, but nonetheless, I think Whistle Pig usually does a pretty good job. So we're gonna be trying this one two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water, see what changes up. But I more recently have done their Roadstock Rye, which I really liked. And I do plan on doing a few of their other, other bottlings as soon as I get the chance to. But this one hit the, hit the uh, website and I was like, all right, I gotta try it. Uh, I don't have a Traeger smoker personally, but I do have a wood pellet smoker and I do love it. Love to have a Traeger one, don't get me wrong. And let's be honest, that color, it's got this orange hue to it. It does. And it, even in the glass, it's very light yellow, but it almost goes orange. So weird. And the proof, most of them I've noticed are in that 40s range. So they usually don't go too high on it, but let's go for notes. Okay. That is different. Okay, wow. Well, hmm. You do get a smoky element to it. But there's also a weird almost It's uh, it's you definitely get the alcohol note here too. I'm trying to say I don't know if I want to call it a sour note. But there is a note in there that is almost pungently sour. Oh, and it keeps getting stronger. But it's it definitely has that wood pellet uh, smoking concept to it. I know this smell from somewhere, but it's almost, it's it reminds me of like almost new make quality on the nose. It's got almost that um, bright, and youthful smell to it. If you've ever had any new make, it almost goes a little sour like new make. Interesting, but you definitely get a vanilla in there too. I wouldn't say any kind of um, oak or any kind of wood per se, maybe just a tad bit dry, almost like a leather. But definitely you do get the light, subtle smoke. It's not like a smoking like an Isla or a uh, any of the American peated things. This is completely different than anything like that. That is weird, but interesting. So let's go for taste. All right, yeah, that is, mm, that is weird. Okay, I'm going in for another taste here. So you get a smoky aspect to it. It does give you that almost like you just freshly opened the hood of a smoker. So it's almost a bit ashy, a bit smoky, but the youthful notes come across this. It's, it's almost too sharp. It's not great. And it's very, I'm very disappointed in that because I've been looking forward to this bottle. It's, Oh man, this is just not great. The flavor profile in this one is really rough. I, I see what they're going for. The smoky element is there. But the, the whiskey is either one of two things. Either this is such a young whiskey, it's a little metallic, little vanilla. Or B, it has been overcooked 
somewhere along its line. It didn't look like, like there was no condensation inside the bottle when I got it home. There was nothing wrong with it that I could say that this has been like sun baked, but it, it just has this very off note. It's not great. It, it's got very much that new makey bite to it. Almost sour new make. And the, the ashy co concept going on here isn't adding anything to be taken away from that new make. It's, oh, this is just not good. It, it's rough. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm off my beaten path now because I, I want to sit here and dog on it. And I don't want to keep drinking it. Like, it's that kind of rough right now. I'm trying to get by it, and I'm trying to think of what I want to talk about. So let me recompose. We'll go from the beginning and see if I can walk you through it, because it's not great. New Makey Sour, a bit of ashy smoky, like the inside of a washed out smoker. More metallic. A bite of almost that new make again, almost that sourness going on. A little bit of sweet vanilla here at the finish as well. But the new make bite that I'm getting, again, that's the best thing I can say is that it reminds me of like grain sourness. I think the best thing I could say, it's got this sour grain note, like, like fermented corn. And then a rainstorm came over and it's got that same kind of concept to it and, and not in a good way. All right, let's see what water does to it. Let's see if the water can save it or not. Because that is rough. Okay, yeah. It's got this metallic bite in there. It's so off-putting. See what the water does with the nose. The unfortunate thing is the one quality it did have on the nose that I like, that smoky, that I am getting here, it's it's basically non-existent here. It goes very ethanol, but not pungent ethanol. So it actually now has this more blended budget whiskey nose. The one thing that was happening here with the neat version, that bit of smoky uh, wood pellet smoker concept from the inside. Like if you've ever had a wood pellet smoker, it does have a different distinct smell on the inside, especially after you've cleaned it or you're cleaning it. And that's what that reminds me of here. It's just young blended whiskey. It's a budget blended whiskey with no real smoke, maybe just a tad bit. Yeah, maybe a little vanilla sweetness in there. And the taste mimics that. That is not great. This now just tastes like a budget whiskey. Like something I'd pick up for $10, $20, like sub $20. It's got this metallic bite to it. You get a little bit of vanilla. You really don't get much of an oak, I, anything going on there. Maybe a little bit of a damp wood smoked note going on, but that is more budget bottom shelf than I've ever tasted. I've got a $10 whiskey that I've reviewed that when it's live, I'll link above that is better than that. I hate being that way. It's even the neat version. It's not great. Oh, I might revisit this one in another, maybe a day or two, just to make sure it's not me. But this is not great. Now it's even more metallic, now that I've had this version. It's almost like licking a penny. Metallic notes going on here. That's not good. All right. Hey, doing this, let's talk about market price. Because we all know market price is market price, and it's always going to vary. I paid $72 for this. 
And luckily I got free shipping out from their website. Look, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money. But if you buy this, expecting something amazing from Whistlepig, and I've had several Whistle, Whistlepigs. I've had their Roadstock, I've done their 10, their 12, the, um, the Piggyback. All those are really good bottles. This is an abomination that should not exist. The idea is there, and that's why I think I have a problem and why I'm even more angry about it. The idea is here. I love smoked things. I work with a smoker pretty consistently throughout the year. I love whiskey that's smoked or done different. I love unique casks. I love unique bottlings. This just tastes so young, budget, and just not great. Don't waste your money on this bottle. I see some places selling this for $80 plus, upwards into $90. It's not worth that. You couldn't pay me to say that. This is by far probably the worst whiskey I've had here in 2022. Wow. I am very disappointed in this. Whistle pig. Look, maybe I have a bad bottle. Is that possible? Yes. Uh, this was shipped from California to me from speakeasy.com. Uh, I will say this. That is a possibility. I've had bad bottles show up before. But boy, oh boy, if that's the case, take a look at your distribution channel because that is atrocious on so many levels. It's not good. I wouldn't recommend drinking. I wouldn't even, if you poured me this for free at a bar, I wouldn't drink it. I couldn't. It's not pleasant. It's not. And that's unfortunate because I spent $72 on this. Wow. All right. With that all in mind, there you have it, folks. Whistle Pig Smoke Stock Whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific bottles I should go looking for, also let me know down below. I'm always on the hunt for something unique and fun to share with you at home. And as always, may your last trick of the night be the best one.